Hi everyone, we're at CR Space 2024 in the US and this morning I am meeting with uh, Tony Dosmet, Director of Hypersonics and Strike Weapons at Lockheed Martin uh, Missiles and Fire Control. Tony, good morning. Good morning. We are standing uh, beside a model half scale, I believe, of uh, the Lorazon. Uh, what can you share with us regarding this program? What's the latest? So uh, a few weeks back, we conducted our most recent test called Integrated Test Event 12 of the Lorazm weapon. Um, in partnership with the Navy, we had a successful event, proved out the uh, Lorazm high-end lethality and survivability of that weapon. So another step towards uh, you know, the, that weapon being everything the Navy needs to go fight the fight they need to go fight. Uh, what else is new with, uh, with the, the, the program? Uh, so Lorazm is in production uh, right now, uh, already achieved uh, IOC with both uh, US Air Force B-1B and uh, Navy uh, F-18s. That's correct. Um, we're currently integrating on the P-8. Uh, that effort will continue through 2025. Um, and we're also doing F-35 B and C integration for the Navy um, to get that you know, as fielded as soon as possible. Um, and then we're going to continue on to F-35A integration um, for, for the Air Force and those F-35A, uh, you know, FMS countries that, that you know, might want to have this weapon. So uh, internationally, uh, what's the, the situation for Lorazm? Yeah, I think anywhere you kind of look where somebody might need a high-end anti-surface weapon, there'll be a demand for that weapon. Um, and F-35A, if you kind of follow some of those, you know, countries that are getting them, there, there'll be potential for, you know, wanting the weapon. Yep. And then the, the first non-US uh, user of Lorazm is, uh, is going to be Australia? Yep, Australia. Yep. As uh, Lorazm is uh, in production, are you also uh, continuously improving uh, the missile to face uh, current and future threats? Yep, Lorazm is a unique weapon that we're always going to be able to uh, mature software as the threat evolves and also look for uh, trade studies and sensor packages as the threat evolves. And at Lockheed Martin, we're always investing in 21st century security and, and what the threat's doing to invest in capabilities in the weapon that the, the Navy or uh, any customer might want. All right, Tony, uh, since you're the head of uh, Hypersonics, uh, uh, there's a program uh, that I like to pay uh, special uh, interest to is uh, the nav air program uh, called Halo for uh, future hypersonic uh, missile. Is there anything you can uh, share with us? You've been down selected as uh, one of the competitors for that program. Yep, we're one of the uh, the two uh, offerers uh, continuing through uh, a phase one contract award that was awarded last um, February, I believe. Uh, so we're continuing to execute that contract. Um, and from Lockheed Martin perspective, we're investing to, to make the weapon available, you know, as early as the, the Navy, uh, as we can get it to the field for them because schedule is critical for the Navy. So we're investing to, to make that happen and continue the partnership of anti-surface capability. All right, Tony, thank you very much. All right, thank you.